we only got 40 support for that? Oh, no, okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> it was the bonus for getting their second. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah. We uh, we tanked our uh, science reward. Oh, Japan, uh, Japan will get third place. We didn't actually tie with them. That's great. Okay, awesome. And we've got plenty of money now. Um, so, oh, we've almost finished researching Venera 9. We'll go to the next month. And there we go. We can start planning our Mercury orbit. Um, Issa is going to beat us to that by a ways, but what can you do? Uh, we've got the prototype one, or we can do the full cost one. This is actually surprisingly cheap, although the launch vehicle will be expensive. The launch vehicles are really expensive for these missions uh, because of the block day upper stage. So I'm thinking do the prototype anyway, because that's still a pretty high payload reliability. Um, and we, what we do, what we'll do is we just won't cut corners on the launch vehicle. So we should get a good science reward. Yeah, so let's do the prototype one for Venera 9. And get building. And then we can actually get researching the crude moon landing. Um, but I think that would be really jumping the gun because we need Soyuz. We'll also need the N1 booster. Uh, we'll need so much stuff for that. Um, and we have a lot of money right now. I really want to launch a a bunch of interplanetary missions. So I'm thinking Venus orbit would be the one to go for. We'll do Venus orbit. It's faster to research. Um, we've been to Venus before. Not that that really affects anything. Uh, it actually gives us more science. Um, and yeah, it's a much faster mission. It would take half the amount of time. So I'm feeling, yeah, we'll go for Venus orbit and we'll probably get a higher place than we would for Mars orbit. So that's fine. Let's just hope that ESA's mission to Mercury explodes. Anyway, Venusian Vacation, a popular travel magazine has written of your agency's recent Venusian impact emission. We'd only recommend this destination for the most hardy of sightseers. We gained a bit of support. Excellent. And okay, we're doing our orbital EVA. So we're going to get third place, um, but that's fine. We did multi-crew orbit first. Um, we got a really, really good chance of this going well. And of course, it is raining. Oh, uh, no. Um... Is there a good date to reschedule this too? We'll do it in September. That doesn't really cost us anything to push it back. I, I don't... <laughs> you really just can't take risks when it comes to crewed missions, honestly. Right. Let's, let's hope this time it's not raining. There we go. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, I don't want to risk this. 92% <laughs> chance... 96% um, chance. This is only a 1% chance of critical failure. Those are the kind of odds that I really want to be working with for crewed missions going forward because they are so expensive and you take such a hit when they go wrong. We do get more support from crewed missions now. We got that camera thing that we paid 100 grand for, so... We really, really want them to go well. <laughs> and a secure launch. That's what we like to see. R7 Soyuz is almost level 5. Yeah, this is becoming a very reliable launch vehicle now. Orbital EVA. We're going to actually see our astronauts get out of the spacecraft? I am interested. Achieve Earth orbit first. Okay, maybe the EVA comes after that. I don't know how many phases there are. The crew resource is actually really useful to have. Hey, check this out! This is cool! The crew are working particularly well with mission control. Generate an additional piece of data. Oh, this is awesome! Our crew is actually getting out and doing stuff on the spacecraft. That's cool. Hopefully this goes better than the actual Voskhod 2 mission, uh, in which Alexei Leonov almost died. <laughs> and had to depressurize his spacesuit to get back into the airlock, because it inflated once he got out. Uh-oh. Things are going wrong. Two things go wrong. This is what you get when you launch prototype missions, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. We've got plenty of power and we've got two crew members, so we should be fine. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. This shouldn't be too complicated. Uh-oh. 
Try to resist that. We're having to resist a lot of failures, though. Ah, no. We should still be able to manage this. Um, we are going to have to recharge our batteries. Uh, can we do this next turn? Then we just need two next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, God. Things are still going wrong. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we can we can do that. We can do that. We just need two comms. Uh, oh, we needed 20, 20 navigation. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, a bit too much has gone wrong for that to be feasible. I misread it. I thought uh, yeah, I thought it was ten and ten, but no, of course it's it's ten and twenty. Uh, I thought it was going to be a bit easy. Ah, uh, well, still so we're going to achieve our main objective. Um, so you know, whatever, that's fine. And resist that. Okay, we've achieved Earth Orbit. Now we've got to conduct our mission EVAs. Okay, here we go. So I assume this is actually a three-phase mission, because I usually we have to do re-entry as well. So the crewed missions are getting a little bit more complicated. Right. Let's have a little look. This mission task involves a complex payload maneuver. Success will require precise control over the drift of the payload to meet the task objective and keep drift within the displayed range. Okay, so it's gonna increase and decrease. So it's a little bit more complicated than heat or thrust. So drift can be an input and an output of commands. You need to carefully balance commands to keep it within the required range. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah, the drift is on minus two. So we're pushing it a little bit. As long as nothing goes too badly wrong. And things are going pretty well to start with. <laughs> that one was close. Okay, we're fine. So we need to knock it back the other way. Right, so our maneuvers, are, you know, we need to keep the spacecraft under control. Falling outside will not end the task early, but you'll need to be within the range for a task to be successfully completed, even if you've met all other objectives. Okay, I get it. Right, so we need four, and we need another 12 of those. That works. <laughs> this is getting... Oh, I have to be, like, you know, thinking 12 steps ahead, because we have to keep so much stuff in balance now. Uh-oh. Pillow's positional drift has unexpectedly changed. The command will cost an additional... Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's not going to help us. Because um, we need to generate it. So we'll have to resist that. Um, otherwise we won't stay within our range. Okay, thankfully that went well though. So we're all good. Whew, okay. Yeah, that works. As long as nothing goes too badly wrong, that should work fine. Whew, okay. So, charge up to two. Do that. Takes us to... Oh, crap. We need to do this twice. Ah, whoopsie. I forgot that only gives us two, not three. Uh, that's throwing a wrench into things. Yeah, I misread that as three, so I thought we could do it without using all of our power up but you know whatever let's just fingers crossed this goes no no we're not going to be able to resist this um if we resist it we'll use two wait it reduces that the output by one we can accept that because we, we're producing too much we can accept that that failure doesn't matter if that output is reduced uh can we resist this, though? Cost an additional... Oh, but we can afford that! Maybe I should read these more carefully and see whether they actually affect us. Every time I've just been resisting events and not seeing whether or not I need to actually resist them. Ah, oh, we managed it. Nice. That was that was skin of our teeth. We had two failures, but we were able to just take them on the chin. I really need to actually maybe start reading them and see whether we can just accept the failure. Because the failures are different every time. I feel like maybe I've had some people screaming at me. Anyway, uh, let's do a controlled re-entry before anyone gets too upset with how bad I am at this game. <laughs> Whew, these missions are certainly a lot more nail-biting when, uh, <laughs> when you have really crappy payload reliability. All right, command output will be reduced by one. Uh, we'll resist that one for now. 
Yeah, let's maybe start reading the error messages. Output will be reduced by one. Yeah, we'll resist that one as well. It's good to resist them early on, you know, because um, we don't know whether or not we can actually take them on the chin or not, <laughs> like we did in the last phase of this mission. Get 35% bonus reward. What, what are these bonus reward percentages? I guess it must go down for the next one if you fail the previous one. Um, maybe you have to achieve all of them to get 50%. For the whole mission or is this per stage i have no idea but it'd be nice to get a 35 percent bonus let's do that wait crap did we just leave it at four no no we did do something that used two uh reduce productivity yeah, someone's output reduced by one we can't do that because our heat reduction thing needs that input so we have to resist that oh no this is the one that <laughs> reduces the heat um Command's output will be reduced. What's the next one? Is the next one more important? Uh, no, not really. This is the really important one, so... We'll resist it. But we are now out of power. Okay. Whew, okay, for a second I thought I'd pressed go. Um... <laughs> With uh, with heat at the maximum, I thought I was like, wait, I did, I did remember to do the mission control monitoring, right? <laughs> and yes, yes, I did. It's fine. So then we just need th three comms next turn, and we'll be okay. Yeah, and then we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, crud. Um. We only need one for the orbital realignment, so we'll accept that. Yeah, we'll just take that on the chin. And the orbital realignment is fine. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> then we just need a bit of comms, and that can be done quite easily um, just with this one. So if we do... What do we need? Two, so we can do that. And voila! Yeah, confirm commands. First one successful. Okay, we should be... Okay, we're good. We're good. We got it. And the last one failed, but whatever. We'll resist it just because we can, but we didn't actually need to. Ah, oh, there we go. Our orbital EVA has been completed. We weren't first in the world, uh, like the Soviets actually were. And uh, we're third, I believe. For this particular milestone, but we achieved it before Japan, which means we complete a challenge. We get a bit off uh, building research. I believe we've finished researching Venera 9. Um, and we can start building that now. Yeah, there we go. We achieved third. So that is fine. We get a little bonus to support. Complete our challenge. And there we go. Bit more support, bit more science. They need a bit of recovery time, which is fine. Issa completed the Mercury orbit, unfortunately. Once that's finished researching, we've got this building thing, um, which we could maybe get researching the large launch pad, because we'll need that for our moon mission. And I know we should probably only build the things that we definitely need. Um, yeah, we'll definitely need that for the M1. So yeah, maybe get thinking about the moon mission after that. Extravehicular photography! Yeah, we go! Yeah, it was worth our 100k that we spent. So photographs taken by your astronaut Yuri Gagarin during a recent EVA featured on the front pages of several newspapers and we gained 300 support. Excellent! That is absolutely excellent. Okay, Venera 9 is going to be complete and we'll research Venus orbit so we can get working on both those missions, which will need a lot of money. Yeah, so this is the thing. I think maybe just hold off on the request missions for a while and just really push for those milestones. Uh, the booster build cost has gone up by 50% as well. And it's an expensive ass booster. Okay, so this is our first mission to Mercury, which of course is the closest planet to the sun. So something hot grill ski. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't really want to sacrifice anything to change our contractor. So go for it. Yeah. Confirm. It's going to cost a lot of money, but
but thankfully we've been saving up so we're absolutely fine and then uh, we can actually get planning our Venus orbit mission which again we're probably just going to get third for we just get building a prototype for that mission okay so yeah although we're not going to be first to most of these we're doing a lot of them you know we're getting at least third in a lot of these missions so hopefully that'll be enough support for us and then uh yeah i'm thinking research this large launch pad um because we're gonna need to get building that at some point and we got 50 percent off right now so yeah we're gonna need that for launching the n1 funding review soon we should get a bunch of extra support actually um considering we've done quite a bit here we go a bit better than last year, where we did literally nothing. <laughs> Excellent! 315k per month. Accept and continue. Grilski is complete next month, uh, and then we've got Venera 9 complete for our uh, mission to Venus, so yeah. Excellent. Mercury orbit vehicle complete. Optimal launch windows become... So oh, you're kidding me. We have no optimal launch window for this. The mission training bonus is increased by 100%. So we could do the launch reliability training bonus. Um, as usual. <laughs> I just never do anything else. Uh, yeah. But it's fine. We can get all the way up to 30%. So if we do a launch in July, it will counteract it. And that will give us a reasonable launch reliability. We're going to be second. And that is absolutely fine. So let's do that. Boom, go to solar system. Um, apparently we've got more quest missions available to us, but I don't see as though any of these uh, yeah, worth us doing right now. Venera 1's complete soon, and that's going to have an expensive-ass launch vehicle too, so probably for the best that we're saving up our money. Venus orbit payload complete! Vehicle boost against two experience levels. I think we're launching it on the R7 anyway. <laughs> oh! We can't quite do it. Wait one more month, I think? And then build it? Um, are we racing anyone to this? Which one's this? Is this Venus Orbit? Uh, oh. Launch admission in five months. Yeah, we weren't going to beat that anyway. We'll go a month and then we'll build it. Here we go. I should really save this, considering how many times we're using this exact rocket design, but whatever. It's fine. It doesn't take long to build it. Kettle Ski 2. And confirm. And voila!